Hi everybody, Cheryl here. I'm going to do a very quick video of um, what's on my nails because I fixed my nails. Um, I needed to do something different and this is kind of my attempt of like an ice nail. So this is what I did. This is, by the way, don't judge. I've never done a stiletto nail on myself before. I've done them on um, other people, but I've never done them on myself. So this was quite challenging. I'm gonna see if it'll focus here. Um, on the ring finger, I used, um, well, basically what I used was my acrylic powder that is the shimmer um it's the shimmer acrylic powder the ice that glows blue so i put that all over my entire nails um which i have available in my store by the way um and then on my ring finger what i did was you can see the champagne i call it blue champagne tinsel um i put that in there and um I actually just had that sitting out and I cannot find it. Um, I, oh, it's underneath here. <laughs> so it's this stuff here. This I actually carry in my store here and I just call it um, blue champagne holo tinsel. And I put that in the ring finger and it is so pretty and I, I just, you know, put a little of that on top of my ice shimmer glow. And then on my thumbs, I put some of these, um, the Blue Champagne Holographic Butterflies. And they are so stunning. It's The camera is not picking it up. But um, that's basically what is on my nails. I put the ASP top coat on. And then, of course, I put these little doodads on here, which um, in my one video, I said my husband hated the, <laughs> the last alloys that I put on. These are much bigger, and you can see they have prongs. So I'm a little nervous that these will get caught in my hair. The other ones didn't, and then I had to put a little butterfly on my thumb. But um, I'm really liking them. Pardon my cuticles, too. I really, ugh, I, I, was, I hit them with the buffer pretty good. Um, but I also want to point out, I had, um, Ann, um, Nail Oracle test the brush that I swear by. This is the brush that I use. And this is this, this brush I've been using this particular one for, oh geez, since I want to say like June, um, I, uh, Nicole Howell found, um, some and pick some up for me which i was just doing cartwheels because i was needing a newer one but as you can see i'm just showing this to you uh nail oracle to show you i've been using this brush for like i said since june and it's holding its shape <laughs> all i do and i don't wrap it in a paper towel or anything i just clean it out with the monomer and then i take my whatever paper towel or napkin and just kind of roll it and then i do that and I set it up, you know, where it's up, the bristles up in a cup and let it dry. And it holds its shape nicely. But I love this brush because I can lay everything from this type of uh, very fine acrylic powder. And I could also lay very thick, heavy, um, like uh, glitter mixes. And it mashes it down nicely and I love the the thing I love the most about this is the tip where I can clean my cuticle area out as I'm doing my nails so this is why I love this brush I've tried those um oval Kalonskis and they just seem too soft for me I don't know I guess you know you stick with what you like everybody's different and you know this was just something that I preferred to use so I'm sticking with my grum brusher and I don't know if that's how you pronounce it but I really don't care that's <laughs> you know that's the name of it um I like this brush so 
that was just for you nail oracle i just wanted to show you that this brush has held its shape i think you got a hold of a bad one and that's the thing when you're buying these at michael's people what i think they do is they take the plastic off and put it back on and then it dishevels the bristles so you got to be really careful when you're looking for this brush at a michael's because like i said people they like to play so um i'm very picky when i go to look for my brush but um anyway i just wanted to point that out so i hope you guys like my nails um this is very hard angle let me do this i don't know if this will focus on me or not um i don't know but that's, I, I'm really happy with how they, t they came out, considering it's the first time I've ever done a stiletto on myself. Um, it's hard to do my own nails. I do better on other people. It's hard to do my own. They're very plain, but they glow in the dark, and that's really cool. I don't know. Um, like I said, this is uh, my Ice Glow um, powder. Sheena, can you shop the light? I'm going to have Sheena shop the light because uh, this is the one that glows blue. And I think I've showed it in my one of my videos before, but I just want to see. It's not that dark in here. It's not quite nighttime yet, but let me see if I can get this to glow for you just to show you how it glows. Check that out. Glowing nails. So that's them glowing. <laughs> that's so cool. I love it. So, and it'll glow like that for, for quite a while, but, um, but anyway, you can turn back on. Sorry, Sheena's over here doing her nails. She's, um, yeah, she's still working on it, but she's doing a good job. Maybe we'll show her nails later. She's shaking her head no. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> But anyway, I hope you guys like my nails. Like I said, I wanted them plain and simple. This is just my attempt of an icicle nail. I didn't want anything too wild and crazy. And um, I think they're very just elegant and and pretty. I, I like them. And um, I do carry these stiletto tips in my store. And I think um, Sunshine Nail Design she tried these tips and I had her try them because I wanted, she was having troubles finding stiletto tips that fit her the right way. And um, let me see here if I can grab a pair that I have. Of course, I'm not going to probably find them. Um, but I do carry these in my store. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is because I searched for a lot of tips before I found tips that I like. I have, these are the C-curve tips. Um, they're not the really long ones, as you can see. Now, I did file down a little bit of the tip, and I made them more of like an almond slash stiletto. I don't know, but I did take a tad bit off of the tip because I didn't want them so pointy. But what I want to point out, and I am, yeah, getting used to wearing stilettos for my first time, so don't laugh at me while I'm trying to open this bag here. Um, but what I wanted to point out about these is they are the C-curve tips, and I just want to show if I can get one what um, I'm talking about. And I don't know, maybe Sunshine can um, speak up a little bit here on these tips because she's tried them and she swears by them. And she said, you know, even the bigger ones that don't fit her nails, she said they the curve went up so high here that she can literally use every size and just file down the sides. But um, since these are clear, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But you can see how they have a high high curve there so they fit nicely and you don't really need to pinch these now this is a size zero so this is a much bigger one and you can see the length of them um so i just wanted to point that out i do carry these in my store um so far everybody who's bought in these has always people always send me private emails saying they absolutely love these tips and they always come back wanting more. So I just wanted to share those with you. I have the square tips and I also have the C-curved curled. Um, I have those in nude only though. And those I think come in 11 sizes. 
um, which are, those are the ones I usually use, are the curled C curved nude ones, but these are the, the stiletto ones. So anyway, these are in my store too. I'll put my store link down below um, if anybody's interested in these tips, but I just wanted to share that with you and I'll try to close that in a second. So anyway, I'm going to get going. I have 10 minutes. I just wanted to share my nails, but um, so I... We'll also leave the link to this. And I also carry my own monomer, which is awesome stuff. So far, the feedback I've gotten on my monomer was it's not a very overpowering smell. It's MMA free. It's made here in the United States. And I've had a lot of people ask me, well, does your monomer stink? And well, it's monomer. I, it stinks. Um, that was my answer. <laughs> but um, I guess compared to other brands that I have used, it's not as um, how do you put it? Harsh. Um, in fact, the quick answer I had to one of the, you ladies, you know who you are. Um, Sheena and I were doing our nails last week and she was using up some of my old monomer that was, um, I think it was the ASP. That's what it was. It was ASP monomer and I was using my monomer, my UNC monomer. And, um, we always do our nails and I have, you know, boys here and my husband here and nobody ever really says anything when we're doing our nails except for, oh, you're doing your nails again. And anyway, last week when Sheena was using the ASP monomer and I was using mine, my husband came downstairs. He said he had a headache and he left. He literally got in the car and left. Um, my sons all went outside too. So I guess... The quick answer to the question is, does my monomer stink? I guess my monomer doesn't smell as bad as the other stuff does because my family have never left me before while I was doing my nails. So they did leave um, last week when we were doing our nails <laughs> because of the smell of of the ASP. And I mean, the ASP liquid's fine. I mean, this is just like, answering some questions where people were asking is it overpowering for, for my monomer? And I guess it's monomer, it has a smell, yes. But it's not overpowering. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna get going. I love you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys um, like my nails. I hope these things don't wreck my hair. I'm, I have a feeling they will <laughs> because they do have the prongs on them. But, oh, we'll see. So anyway, there's my nails, hope you guys like them. Um, I will see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.